think first and foremost, pitching is hard. Getting investment is hard. And you need to feel really comfortable that you've gone that extra mile. And as I said, I've done this before. I've raised money before. I've, I've done pitch decks. But I've never felt as I do now, so comfortable with having the assets that I've got, the business case, the pitch deck, all of it. it as I said, you know, I thought I knew what I was doing, but I didn't <laughs> because as I said, if you guys are if you guys are 100, what I was doing before was 30. And yeah, it's phenomenal what results that you guys got. Hi there, my name is Dominic Kamara, and I guess you could call me a serial entrepreneur. Over the last 10 years, I've started for about four or five different businesses in lots of different fields. I guess you could say it's in my blood. I wish sometimes I could do something else, but um, unfortunately, or fortunately, entrepreneurship is just is something that I absolutely love and very passionate about. Uh, I've just started, the latest venture is called uh, Boso, Boso Bamboo. And Boso is a FMCG bamboo consumer brand, uh, focusing first in, in the FMCG sector with twin aims of helping to reduce deforestation and also help reduce female period poverty. And we do that by 5% of our revenue going to ActionAid and UNICEF. But the, the one thing I, I loved was the, the business case. It sounds sounds crazy, but um, because it encapsulated the whole amount of work that's gone into this. To, so, you know, we've done so much in terms of research, in terms of user interviews, in terms of coming up with a business model, in terms of kicking the tires on numbers, in terms of Amazon research, insane amount of work. And it was so, it was so beautiful. If <laughs> you could call a business case beautiful, but it was so beautiful to have to, to give you all that information and then for it to come back in such a structured way that encapsulated everything. So that's so for me, that was that was the, the business case is my favorite. The first business case that I got, which is the first time that I'd seen, I remember just looking at it and being absolutely blown away. I was over the moon because, as I said, it gave it, it, it just encapsulated everything. And it was in such a structured way that and, and the first time that had happened, it was all there. All that stuff that was everywhere and all the ether and all the different places was just in one place. And it was just so well written as well. It got the essence. So yeah, I was at, yeah, over the moon. And so that was number one. Then I saw the, the first draft of the deck. And again, just blown away because Robert Mascot brought the visuals to life. And I, I was just so proud as well. It's like, wow, this is us. <laughs> so yeah, there's an immense amount of pride in that as well. And then I think we got five different versions of the pitch deck. And, and, and in, with regards to the pitch, deck wow so your designers again we've got quite a rich visual imagery around bamboo we have a designer it's been done specific because we want it to be a more of a premium feel very luxurious but the way that, that your design team took what we had and then used it was amazing everybody who's seen the pitch deck says they look phenomenal. I've been doing this for, for 10 years and I've written decks, I've done pitches and it's very kind of organic in the way that I've done it and a bit not haphazard, but I just realized with this particular raise and the assets that I needed, we needed to, to really step up our game. I think before I was unsure, but there was a bit of uncertainty and I was handing things out because also the deck that we wrote was from a brand designer and a marketing guy. Okay, with a bit of finance thrown in. It was just a bit flat. I wasn't sure about it, as opposed to now, total confidence in, in all the assets. The work's going to help us by the, the level of professionalism the robot mascot has given us helps when we're talking to investors. You know, I've, I've sent that, I, I send the deck and I'm proud. I was um, talking to uh, an accountant friend of mine who's starting a, a business and we talk about entrepreneurship and funding and investment all the time. Sad, but that's, that's the way we are. And he was talking about starting this new business with a friend and I said, listen, you've got to get these guys on board. I said, I, I thought, I said, I'm no spring chicken. I, you know, I've, I've been around a little bit. I've started businesses. I've done business cases. I've done pitch decks. And I felt after you guys had, had done all your work, I felt like I knew nothing before <laughs> compared to what you guys had given me. And I said, listen, if you're serious about what you're doing, if you're serious about what you're doing and what you're trying to raise and what you're putting in front of people, I, I, I think you'd be a lunatic not to use a robot mascot. <laughs>